In this video, I'll show you how to use the preserve volume option on the armature modifier correctly. I show this technique in my extensive free course, Rigging Isn't Scary, but I made a slight mistake there. So this video will serve as a fix for that video, but also for people who just quickly want to learn this technique. So why do we use preserve volume? Well, for example, if I twist the hand here, I get the candy wrapper effect. And on this character, I did quite a lot of uh, weight paintings, so there aren't any big problems with the shoulder. But this is another area that preserve volume could fix for you. So let's enable it. And here the twisting is fixed right away. But while this technique can fix problems in the shoulder, it creates this bulging here in the armpit. And also here. So here is how we solve this. Select the character and duplicate its armature modifier. And on the second modifier, disable preserve volume and enable multi-modifier. This option is specifically designed for this workflow. Go to data and create a new vertex group. Call it something like preserve. And set it as a vertex group for the second armature modifier. Now create a pose that shows the bulging. Go to weight paint mode. Make sure that the preserve group is selected. And now with this kind of brush, blend to add weight to one and strength to a lowish value. Just click in the bulging areas. And it'll start to get fixed. You can shift click to smooth a little bit. And this is looking much nicer. If you follow the rigging isn't scary video, you will have this setup. So we have the preserve group on both modifiers and on the second one, it's inverted and we didn't use multi modifier. This kind of works. It will fix the bulging, but if I move the root, you'll see that it starts to deform the weight painted areas. But with the multi modifier workflow that I just demonstrated, it will work perfectly. No distortion and the bulging is fixed. I hope this helps and sorry to those of you who watched the slightly incorrect technique. But if I make a mistake, I'm happy to correct it.